Hello all, welcome to Shan's Cuisine. Uh, today I want to share with everybody how to make uh, kuruto ayam yeah? or chicken kuruto. It's kuruto or something like is a curry dish. This is uh, from uh, west coast of uh, in peninsula Malaysia. Yeah? The kuruto normally uh, from Kelantan. Okay, kuruto normally is uh, basically is uh, from Kelantan have uh, meat kuruto or kuruto uh, chicken yeah? or kuruto daging or kuruto ayam. And also normally kurutuk they eat with uh, steam rice, boiled rice, uh, sambal belacan or ulam-ulam is ulam-ulam that means is something like is uh, all a mix mix herb is uh, raw or something, something like is Asian salad something like that and also uh, most popular in Malaysia yeah is a curry dish but it's not not look like curry but is more to curry rendang in between on that okay the kurutuk is a uh, they have two types a uh, chicken and beef okay so now let's start cooking i have all the ingredients here <clears throat> okay for today i cannot get any uh, krisi or roasted coconut so i have to use a uh, i have to use a uh, dry desiccated coconut after that i have to roast like this to make krisi yeah okay so now you see the color color will become a uh, change now after i roast uh, without oil okay and make sure it's low fire, okay? See the color of the coconut uh, become uh, brown now, yeah? It's a bit from white, now become brown, so we need a little bit more brown. After that, we have to blend, okay? Blend them to make them very, very fine, yeah? Okay, after we roast the coconut, now we have to blend, yeah? You have to blend it very, very fine. I don't want you to be like. Uh, you see that? It has to be like this. It's very, very fine. Maybe we need more. Okay. More fine. Okay, this is a uh, ingredient for kuto. Yeah, I have around uh, five numbers of chicken leg. I have uh, some uh, kuto uh, powder or rempah kuto. I have uh, gula melaka I have some ginger I have here is a uh, krisi I do myself and here I have galangal I have uh, two onion half a uh, small bit of garlic four lemongrass and uh, thick coconut cream milk okay the first thing is uh, I need the ingredient to be blended yeah this is a uh, uh, onion if you have a red onion or shallot there is a uh, I suggest that for that uh, but I don't have a red onion or shallot I use a uh, normal sponge onion okay we have to put in the blender put, put processor there is some uh, ginger okay and here I have a uh, lemongrass I have some galangal or, or galangal I have some uh, garlic here, yeah. Okay. And I need a little bit of water. We have to blend them. It's very, very fine. Okay. Just like this, yeah. Okay. Okay. The first step is we have to put a uh, cooking oil here, yeah. I think around uh, five or six tablespoon, yeah. Cooking oil. Okay. Okay. We heat the pan, and now we have to 
slow fire eh. So now we have to saute all the mixed uh, blend ingredients eh. Okay, this one is going uh, to take uh, I think uh, about, about uh, half an hour or something like this though, because I want to make all the all the blend here is a galangal, uh, lemongrass, onion, garlic, uh, to to get caramelized is from this okay so this one i must take uh, one uh, and uh, one about half an hour okay so it's a uh, slow cooking otherwise it's become bubbling it's like volcano okay so we have to really slow cooking for this okay now you we, we see is uh, our first step is the galangal onion is a uh, garlic and also lemongrass okay we blend we, we saute with slow fire so now become a uh, split like this become aroma so now we have to put uh, around uh, 50 gram of uh, krupuk powder inside yeah okay 50 gram of krupuk powder after that we have to saute again okay until they naik bau okay until the smell get a good aroma for this okay the krupuk powder this one actually you can get in the asian uh, market or asian uh, store uh, I never find this one in Dublin yet, okay. But this one is actually is uh, from my auntie. She stay in the UK, so she brought uh, from Malaysia before she, uh, after she back home from holiday last year. So I got from her this one, okay. So again, continue cooking until to get a uh, smell aroma or split until the the the, the powder or rempah is cooked, yeah, okay spice okay or rempah sudah pun naik bau oh, okay you see they become it's really cook it's a really get a smell aroma it's a from a kurto powder yeah so it's like this so it's a really really slow fire otherwise it's burnt otherwise another one more thing you have to stir time every time okay i must say is a when you cook is a malaysian food or malaysian cuisine so the step cooking step by step is very important yeah so you have to uh, put the onion, garlic, everything, saute and the caramelize and now you have to put the you put the powder and again you have to saute and the get caramelized is a really mix like that okay so now I have a chicken here already cut is a drumstick everything and I cut uh, by three pieces so now I have to put the chicken yeah okay so still continue cooking when you put the chicken is a uh, still uh, low low temperature of uh, of heat yeah so you have to mix all together okay like this okay mix together all like this okay and then you have to put some uh, you have to make a chicken a uh, little bit cook okay i think uh take around uh 15 to 20 minutes yeah like this okay see the the chicken only half cooked yeah so now the time to put uh one can of coconut milk yeah I see one can of coconut milk and also I put some half can of water okay and I have here is a uh, gula melaka okay or brown sugar okay this one I this one is gula melaka you can get in the Asian market okay like this and some uh, crisset just now I show you early okay Okay, let them continue cooking yeah so this time continue cooking is must be important thing is is really release really, again really really slow fire on this yeah otherwise your 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 chicken is mashed and after that your your the, the gravy is will be burnt okay so this is late continue cooking but now you need to stir this stir much now yeah Okay, you see, I think our kurutu is ready. You see the chicken already cooked. See that? Oh, that is very nice. Okay, this one is uh, after that. Now I have to seasoning some salt. Okay. I not put any sugar anymore because I already use the gula melaka or palm sugar. Yeah. So this one is nice. Eat with uh, fat steam rice with some uh, sambal belacan or ulam one. Yeah. Okay, this one. So I think our kurutu is ready. Okay, now I think our crispy kruto is ready here. You see that? Okay, now I have to put in the bowl. Okay, so I have to put a uh, here a little bit some uh, chicken. Yeah? Okay, this look like 
Oke. Okay. Okay. And uh, some sauce. Okay, normally dia kerutuk. People serve with uh, fried shallot. So, I have uh, fried shallot here. So, bawang goreng ya. Yeah. So, now we are on top of this. Wala, you see that? I feel like I stay in Kelantan now. Okay. It's ready. It's all put it's ready. So now I have a case. Voila. Yeah. Okay, I think uh, only today our tutorial, yeah? It's a uh, chicken kuruto. It's um, I'm going to put all my recipe in uh, YouTube channel. Subscribe. Please subscribe my YouTube channel, Shan Cuisine. So, have a nice day. Have a good weekend. Okay, bye.